is going on, everybody? Okay, this is Trader Josh. Okay, before we get started with this video, I want to let you guys know that God loves you all. Okay, don't you ever forget it. Okay, we have a lot to talk about today. We do not have any slides today. There's no news. There's no new news on ticker symbol S I D U. And if I did not say it already, this video today is about ticker symbol S I D U. Okay, I do have now. I told y'all two days ago in my last video, which was Sunday, I told you guys that I was going to buy 1,000 shares within these next couple of days. And right now I have 900 shares of SIDU, okay, at a market value of $185, okay. I will be getting another 100 shares. I'm trying, I'm trying to get my average 20 cents and keep it there, okay. I'm going to get, I'm going to get, I want to, uh, I said a thousand, okay. I'm gonna get a thousand first, you know, and then next I'm gonna say, now I want ten thousand, now I want twenty thousand, now I want, you know, well, you know, we, 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 we just go as we go, you know. But I want to show you guys something right here. In my two days ago, before, before it was right here, we were right here. Whenever I was showing you guys. What I what I was thinking that what I was kind of letting you guys know what to prepare yourself for this week just just off of the trend indicator, okay? So now now that we look at it, like I told you guys, we would be looking. I told you guys first things first. We would want to see us break this nineteen twenty nine cents. So in your head, you could put that, and you know because we know that nineteen fifty is the bigger the bigger resistance. Okay, we want to at least get over that. So look, another thing after I watched my video and I realized I realized something. OK, guys, I realized I did leave out one major, major, major key to this whole play. OK, and that is September 11, 2023. OK, so SIDU has until September 11, 2023 to reach a minimum of one dollar by 10 days. To regain compliance with the NASDAQ. Okay. So we know that. So we know we got at least four more months. Okay. Wait. January, March, April, May, June. We got two or three more months. Okay. We got a couple more months. Okay. I'm, I'm definitely, I'm going to tell you guys now, you know, I always keep it real. Okay. I'm here to make money. Okay. I'm, I'm here when it, when it looks good, I'm going to jump in. You know, and I'm going to make videos on it and I'm going to show you guys when it's whenever it's moving sideways. You know, if I'm not in, I'm not talking about it. OK, if I'm in it, I'm talking about it. OK, that's basically what I'm trying to say. If I'm in it, I'm talking about it. OK, but I always do show in the discord when I buy, when I sell. OK, remember that link in bio. OK, join. it. All right. Also, I want to show you guys 18 cents is our 52 week low. So. You can already put that in your head, okay? We might not be seeing 18 cents again. But one thing I will say is if we can, if we end off today, which we got about seven more hours in the day, about six more hours, six more hours in the day. If we can close off anywhere above this line right here at the 20 cent range, then we could be looking tomorrow to to moving forward from here. Now we now we forget about this. Okay, we don't we don't worry about this range no more unless we come back down to it. But if we can if we can find a way to bounce up above it, I would say you know, right here at the bottom that line right there, that'd be where we start next week easily. And look where that goes. Uh, up into now this is still Friday. So this is the indicator right here is indicating that Friday Friday's right here, Tuesday. So why does this skip to Tuesday? June what's Tuesday? I mean Monday must be a holiday. Yeah, it must be. Let me see. It must be a holiday. Don't forget. Let me go ahead and look that up. 
um, is the stock market closed Monday? Well, I can't figure out what it is. I'm not gonna spend much time doing doing so. Okay, but if if it can stay in this grid right here in this little indicator, we can definitely for sure be looking for it. Whether it jumps in the red or the blue, it's for sure going up. Okay, because regardless of the fact if it moves up here or down here, that's still going up. What we don't want it to do is get in a line just like this one right here. And really, really, that's not even a problem either because if it can get in a line like that and just move sideways on it, then it can, let me get, let me make this bigger. And and we could show, look, look at this right here. Since it got down, it's been in this range for a while. So if we, if we can break out of this range right here, I'm going to show you something right now though. Okay, I'm going to show you something right now before I get into all that. Let me move this out the way. Okay, so look, if we can move sideways and end up make, turning this linear regression right here into a sideways linear regression, that would put us at even higher lows. So we would, we would be more comfortable at higher lows. And then every little, you know, they slowly go up. A lot of people want to see everything just shoot up and sell quickly, but and get their money. But but let's be realistic, guys. When you see that happen right there, this right here, you don't sell. OK, it's hard to sell when you see that happen. How high will it go? We don't know. OK, but when you see that type of candle right there, OK, it's hard. OK, and, and guess what? You know, you hear it a lot. Right when as as fast as it goes up, as fast as it goes down. Okay, and I know all of us that have really seen our money just flash before our eyes have seen this happen. And I'm talking about real money. Okay, good money. Okay, we have seen it come and go. Okay, but we're here to take them chances and take advantage of them. Okay, we're not here to let them slip no more. Okay, so if if you see something like this happen. I'd say sell. Look, I don't care. Look, if it's if your average is 20 cents, look, my line is right there at 37 cents. Hey, damn near double. Get out. Get out. OK, a lot of people will try to shame you for it. Make your money. OK, don't ever forget why you're here. Don't ever forget why you're here. OK, don't let nobody shame you. Don't act like nobody can move these markets. Nobody knows what's going to happen. All we can do is see history. OK, we can see history and try to predict what can, what may happen in the future. And so far, I have been lucky with my predictions. I never claim to be the smartest in the room. OK, I never do. I love listening. What do you have to say? Maybe you could teach me something. I hope you can because I don't like hanging around people who can't teach me nothing. What can you show me? You know, show me something. Show me where I'm wrong so I can correct myself. OK, I'm telling you guys this this pattern that it's been keeping up with ever since it's look. And then I could go ahead right here. We could we can already look right here and say. We'll just put it at twenty three cents, twenty three cents. is going to be a major resistance level we want to break. OK, I'm going to even put that in a a white color. Or yellow, something to stick out. That's not even bright, but whatever. All right, we need to keep we need to keep an eye on all these levels. Make sure when you guys are reading your charts, pay attention to these spots right here, where they tap and they go down. Because then you can see it happen one time, and you can tell. Okay, so wait, I'm going to show you guys right here. Look, it tapped here and it, it pulled down. Where else can we see it doing that? nowhere it didn't pull down though there's no red candles but i'm just saying i'm trying to give you an example of how i see these how i look what i do okay so look if it tapped it in one spot boom okay we know it hit resistance right here so let's go back a little let's try to see 
Did it ever did it ever have support? Boom. Once right there. And what is that from 23 to exactly 26? 23 to 26. Okay, so three cents up. And from 23 cents, that would be close to 5%, I want to say. Uh, close to 5% gains, okay? Um, 5%, 5%, okay? Gains is gains, okay? If you're fine with that, take it, okay? I'm telling you guys, I'm not going to be one of those guys to tell you, hold, hold, hold. No, take profits, okay? That's what we are here for, you know? We ain't coming to play around, okay? Check it out. Look right here, too. 23 cents. Fell down, bumped up. Fell down, bumped up. Fell down. It's trying to it's trying to hold that support on that 23 cents. So we see that it fell below, below it down here. It's trying to get back over. It's trying. It's not resisting it way. It's not pushing it way too far, but it's trying to stay on it, you know, because once it gets a little more deeper down, that's whenever it loses control of, you know, it can't. It looks like it can't help it no more, basically, from what from what I've seen, you know, and let me show you guys another thing I was going to tell you about. So that's, that's, that's how I, that's how I read, you know, basically candles, you know, how I read candles, how I read the charts, you know, okay. And I'm showing you guys how to do this. Okay. I'm showing you how I do it. You know, you could do it on your phone. I, I don't like doing it on my phone because it's a lot harder. Okay, that's why I bought a computer. But I used to do it whenever I would be on break at work. I'd do it on my phone sometimes, but I don't do that no more. I just bring the computer wherever I go because it's just a lot easier and bigger, you know. But with that being said, guys, look at this. Look at this trend we're in right now. A lot of people, a lot of people are saying, I'm gonna give you I, I want to do a chart video, but I'm gonna tell you guys right now what I think. This guy asked me on stock twitch, you know. You have 900 shares. What's your angle? Like, like I'm trolling or something, trying to pump a stock. Like I'm just, like I got a million subscribers and I want to, you know, push all you guys, you know, to, like, come on, I don't know. I don't understand it. I don't get it. I want to show you guys what I see. And if it looks interesting to you, you know, make your money, man. But look, all I can tell you guys is ever since we touched that 52 week low, I've been watching it. And we have never pulled back down to it. I believe me when I tell you, I'm looking. I I'm watching to see if we do pull down. But guess what? We pull down down again. Now now this is proof. Now I'm gonna tell you guys right here. Now another. This just occurred to me. Just it just clicked in my head. Let me move this over here. Okay. All right. So check this out. We're talking about support and resistance and the history. Okay. So look. It looks good right now, right? Yeah, we're yeah, we're up here, we're up here. But I want to show you the difference, okay? So look. See how we tapped it right here. Let me zoom in a little more. Cuz I'm just recognizing this and okay. We haven't done nothing yet. We need to break over 20 cents. 2050. We need to break over that. Okay, I'm going to show you why. Because we have already hit that a couple times since pulling down. We hit our 52 week low. Then we pulled up to it. Like I told you guys, just as fast as we go up, it's just as fast as you go down. Okay, so check it out. See how quick that went up right there? It went from Tuesday to Wednesday, one day, and then Wednesday to Thursday. Thursday ends right here. So Thursday ends right here. And it just started going up at the end of Thursday. Okay, so last week, Thursday, Friday, it hit its 52-week low. It was still at its 52-week low at close of Thursday. Okay, then it pulled up. It's been pulling up ever since Thursday. So that's four days worth of upward trends. That's I could I guess we could say that's four days of green candles. Okay, so if we can if we can say, well, let's see if history, you know, tends to repeat itself. Then I would expect for us to have a bit of a pull down back toward this range before doing anything too crazy. Because as we see here, last time we tapped it, we at least went to this range and stayed 
stayed a little longer before pulling down. It wasn't strong enough. It, there was two, way more red candles than green. So then the red just overpowered to the all the way to the bottom. And, and this is what I can say. I have a strong gut feeling that this is the bottom. And, and, and I'm, I am, what's, what's the word I'm looking for? I am, um, you know, I'm willing, I'm willing to risk, you know, risk for reward. You know, I'm willing to risk it for the reward because I think this could be the bottom and Saidu is very, if you go, if you go, look, I, I believe in SIDU. I believe in Saidu space. Okay. I believe in Carol Craig, you know, I believe in Elon Musk. Okay. Carol Craig and Elon Musk work side by side. Okay. Carol Craig, for those of you who do not know, is the CEO of Saidu space. Okay. They have deals. They have agreements. They have all types of stuff going on. This is wild to me to see. But uh, then again, I'm thankful for it. And, and that's why I tell you guys, God loves you all. Don't you ever forget it. Because if if it wasn't for, you know, we wouldn't have came back to something this pretty. Okay, I'm telling you guys, look at that candle moving up right now. I normally don't do, I normally don't make videos during market hours. Just because I wait until the day's over with normally. So I can try to speak into the next day which I normally, I always do. I'm not going to say normally nothing, okay? But today, I just felt different, okay? I seen it pull down from here, and I felt like it was going to be a little battle. I think I started a video on about right here, okay? Or about right there. Okay, so, guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. Let me know if you think, if you agree with anything, if you disagree with anything. Join the Discord below, and let me know any other ticker symbols you're in, too, so I can look at them. And I can figure out, hey, is there a way me and you can make money together? You know, and another thing I will say, I just I just said, you know, I don't like being the smartest person in the room. You know, I'm really not smart at all. I'm stupid, you know. But what I'm saying, what I mean by that is how my discord is. Don't be scared to join the discord, man. It's I have 54 people in it right now. And I know we we just need somebody in there, you know, to. Turn it up a little bit, you know. Somebody come give call outs with me, you know. Somebody, let's make this money, man. I'm telling you, we can find more things together than we can find alone. Okay. I'm Trader Josh, and I will see you guys when I see you guys. God loves you all. Don't you ever forget it. Okay.